I'm sorry. Did you just put my soda on top of my play button? I'm sorry, it won't happen it's again. It's gonna leave a ring. If any of you out there struggle with things like anxiety or social anxiety or feelings of awkwardness, there is so much that you can learn from the queen of exposure therapy, Shane Dawson. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So what I try to do is pull things from the YouTube community and pop culture to teach you how to improve your mental health. And that's why today we're talking about anxiety, exposure therapy, and Shane Dawson. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And before I jump into exposure therapy, I have two. Yes, two real quick exciting announcements. All right, so anyways, I wanna give a shout out to the channel Dose of Dad. Um, he's been subscribed to me for a little while now. And a lot of you who watch me, like you know like I have my little quirks and the things I say. And something that he pointed out and something my girlfriend was saying too, is that I say things like, and stuff and all sorts of other weird things. So my girlfriend actually just designed this and it's mental health and stuff like that. So <laughs> that is now available in the merch store if you would like to get one to rep the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And by the way, on the back of all the shirts it says, focus on the solution. But anyways, second announcement is thank you to Naruto Fan 2003 for reminding me that there are other places than Las Vegas. So here in Las Vegas, it's still bouncing around from like 60 to 80 degrees. It's not that cold, but Naruto Fan 2003 was like, yo, why don't you have any sweaters? And I'm like, snaps, why don't I have any sweaters? So by the time you're watching this video, all of the designs in the merch store, there are now sweater options available. So now you can be cozy in the winter time while repping some mental health merch. You know what I mean? But anyways, let's get started with the video. So yeah, again, all of you who know me, what I like to do is try to take things from all the stuff that you're currently consuming and teach you the lessons that you can learn to improve your mental health. And I know a ton, a ton of you have come to my channel because of Shane Dawson. So a lot of you have been watching Shane for a while now, and you might not even notice, but Shane is doing something for his anxiety and awkwardness, and it's called exposure therapy, which is a very, 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 very good um, form of therapy for anybody with anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder, and any kind of any kind of mental illness that involves anxiety. It can also help with PTSD, all right? So what is exposure therapy? Okay, all right, we're just gonna do it. I'm not gonna plan it out. I'm not gonna stress about it. That's a lie, I am gonna stress about it. I'm freaking out, I'm sweating. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I just really want it to go well. Oh my God, okay. Exposure therapy is a technique in behavior therapy thought to help treat anxiety disorders. Exposure therapy involves exposing the target patient to the anxiety source or its context without the intention to cause any danger. Doing so is thought to help them overcome their anxiety or distress. So yeah, that's what exposure therapy is. So if you've been watching Shane for a while, uh, before he even started doing these docu-series with like Tana and uh, Jeffree Star and Jake Paul and Graveyard Girl and stuff like that, you, you can see this kind of change in Shane Dawson's content where, you know, when I first found him, when my girlfriend told me about him, my son and I were watching him because he would eat weird, he would eat a bunch of food and make weird food and like try life hacks and stuff. But then he started getting into like some different content and he wanted to push himself and things like that. And he made some videos about like confronting my ex or talking to this person and stuff. And one of the videos where I just really thought was powerful was, um, he did a short little mini series, it was like three episodes long, of him confronting his father. So those of you who aren't familiar with Shane Dawson, uh, Shane's father kind of walked out of his life uh, at a young age and Shane was taking care of his mom. And like his dad and him have talked a few times throughout the years, but he made a whole thing about like just sitting down and talking with his father about these hard questions. And like throughout all these videos, like, I wonder how many of you sat there and thought about how scary that would be, how uncomfortable that would be. But what Shane's doing is he's exposing himself to those fears. What that does, it builds up our mental resilience. So Shane 
Whether he realizes it or not, he is actively decreasing his anxiety and fears by exposing himself to these things. In all honesty, like not joking, I definitely feel like we talked about a lot of stuff today. A lot of it was off camera, but a lot of it was on camera. And I don't know, I feel closer. Well, definitely, I mean, I feel closer to Shane. And that's why I think we should just respect him as a whole because of what he's doing and pushing boundaries because it is improving his mental health. Like, it is like lifting weights to calm down your amygdala. That The amygdala is the part of your brain for fight, flight, or freeze. So what exposure therapy does is it actually helps to decrease the activity of the amygdala, right? So I wanted to make this video after watching Shane Dawson's uh, finale, Inside the Mind of Jake Paul, where he was just having this like serious one-on-one -on -one conversation with Jake. Like, and what's funny is too, real quick, like Shane like put a disclaimer, like I'm not out of respect for Jake, I'm not putting any music in. And I tweeted out something along the lines of like, man, like this is like extra like awkward because there's no music in it. So I don't know, it's just funny because some people are like, oh Shane, you dramatize, you, you, dramatize, you, do, you do some drama music. <laughs> but anyways, and then he takes it out and I'm sitting there like, I wish there was music to go with this. So again, I made a lot, my last video talked about perspective. Think about it real quick. But anyways, like you could just see that and like I was getting uncomfortable and in my live stream, I was like, oh, is Shane gonna call him out on this or is he gonna talk about this? And like, you gotta think, you gotta think like, how awkward was that for Shane? How difficult was it for Shane? How difficult was it for Jake? It seemed like this was one of the times, the first, one of the first times Jake has ever had somebody seriously sit down and have a conversation like this with him. And they did this for over an hour, right? What is your fear about talking about this? My fear with, with talking about it is like, it's such like a sticky situation and like, if I talk about it, like it's just gonna like bring up all the shit again and like, and. So Shane is exposing himself with the, to that stuff. So by doing this as part of his job, think about how he's able to have these types of conversations with people like Ryland, or when Ryland made the video about how they were kicking uh, Morgan out. Like these are tough, tough conversations, but he's exposing himself to those things. So again, like, I don't want you to just passively watch content. I want you to really consume the content and realize what these people are doing in their videos. What can you learn from? Are they positive or negative things? Because exposure therapy is definitely, definitely a positive thing. And this is actually something that I've been doing for myself. Like, like I know a lot of you can't afford therapy or you don't trust therapists or whatever. Like, like me personally, like when I started working on my mental health, I was just pushing myself more and more. And what I would do is I would force myself to go into uncomfortable situations so I can learn how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And here's what I mean by that. Like I used to have crippling social anxiety. It's one of the reasons why I drank and used drugs and stuff like that. I just could not be around people because my mind was always racing, like what are they thinking about me and all that stuff. So when, uh, about six years ago, when I started working on my mental health, like I was like, I gotta learn how to just be okay with this. So people would invite me out for like coffee where there'd be like 30 or 40 people just all meeting up and just hanging out like outside of a coffee shop forever. Or they'd invite me to hang out at their house and play board games and whatever. And I just said yes. I just kept saying yes and kept saying yes. And let me tell you, I used to be so awkward, uncomfortable. There'd be like 20 or 30 people around, everybody's laughing and having a good time. And I'm just standing there like, <laughs> And my brain is just telling me how stupid I look, how ridiculous this is, everybody must be thinking I'm a moron, all sorts of stuff. But over time, it got better because I just kept pushing myself, I kept moving forward, I kept exposing myself to these uncomfortable situations. When I started working at the Drug and Alcohol Treatment Center a few years ago, I was so afraid to do groups. Like, I was working at a big treatment center. Some of these groups were in front of 50, 60, 70 people sometimes. I was so afraid to do it, but I signed up for as many groups as I could. I just started doing group after group after group after group, and eventually I got comfortable. This is something a lot of uh, YouTubers struggle, struggle with. Like when I was at Vid Summit, I heard a lot of people talking about how they're still uncomfortable on camera or they're awkward. And it's interesting too, because by the way, YouTubers, I hate to tell you this, but like, I notice it. 
I definitely notice it. There's so many YouTubers who I met where they're really reserved in their YouTube videos, but they're so much more charismatic in person. I realized that at Vid Summit. And like, I get it, like, I was like that too. If you go back and look at my first videos, they are not nearly, nearly as energetic as these ones were. Like, I was just really uncomfortable on camera. Hello everybody and welcome to The Rewire. My name is Chris Boutte. Yes, you heard it right, my name is Chris Boutte. So one of the reasons I make so many videos is because every execution of a video, I get a little bit more comfortable. I get a little bit more confidence, you know what I mean? So like not only do I put out a bunch of content for all of you, but not gonna lie, I put out a bunch of content for me. I expose myself to the things that make me uncomfortable. So what can you do in your life? What can you do to expose yourself to these, these situations? But like it says, uh, for exposure therapy, like we don't want you to put yourself in danger. I'm not telling you to expose yourself to like jumping off, you know, like, uh, I don't know, a building or something crazy. Like just make baby steps. Maybe your baby step is just going to a Starbucks and sitting there, right? And just sitting there around people, okay? And maybe you do that two times a week. Then you up it to three times a week, then four times a week, then five times a week. And then maybe, maybe you start making it a, a, a priority to talk to one person, just one person. Um, something that you might do if there's like a gas station that you go to every single day and you're awkward and uncomfortable, make small talk with the cashier, with the person behind the register. They're bored all day, you might as well make some conversation with them. Like expose yourself to these little things because I'm telling you, like this is scientifically proven, okay? It will strengthen your resilience when it comes to these things, all right? So do little things, tiny little things to push yourself and face one of your fears every single day like Shane Dawson is doing, and I guarantee it will start to reduce your anxiety, your social anxiety, your awkwardness, and all of that stuff. A lot of you ask me how I manage to not care so much about what people think is because I've been pushing myself like this for years now, all right? But anyways, I wanna hear from all of you. I wanna hear from all of you. What? Either A, what do you do right now to expose yourself to get into uncomfortable situations to kind of build up your resiliency? Or what can you do, all right? Let me know down in the comments. But that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. And remember, there are some brand new merch and sweaters up in the shop, so make sure you click or tap on that icon right there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.